Um, this gentleman has been arrested for free. It only takes a split second for their job to turn physical. This is a training exercise developed for police in England and Wales after concerns about attacks on officers and the number of people who've been hurt, even killed in custody. It's been developed by the College of Policing as an annual two-day refresher course for serving officers. They practice with restraints and discuss the warning signs of asphyxiation. It depends on the individual, the size of them, if they're under the influence of drugs or any sort of mental health issues. So then you've got to tailor your sort of your tactics, how you're going to deal with that individual in the best way possible to make them feel safe and your colleagues feel safe. No, 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 no. The college says the pilot scheme in Avon and Somerset produced significant results. They estimate the training led to 1,200 fewer use of force incidents over 12 months. Before it, they say an average officer used force in the job six times a year. That has now dropped to an average of five times. With smartphones constantly recording their interactions, the police are increasingly under pressure and criticism for their use of force. And this incident at Manchester Airport sparked huge protests a few weeks ago. The chair of the College of Policing says bosses need to be more proactive in releasing body cam footage after controversial arrests or viral incidents. Some of the circumstances that amount to that is where there's a huge uh, public and press interest, particularly where the release of the body-worn footage may actually help prevent serious violence or serious disorder. This summer's riots have highlighted more than ever the threats police face from members of the public, the very people they've sworn to protect. Get off me! Get it's hoped this new training will make that difficult job a little easier. Rachel Venables, Sky News in Hendon.